What is a stroke? A stroke is a medical emergency that occurs when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted or reduced, depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients. This can lead to the death of brain cells within minutes. Strokes can have devastating effects, impacting mobility, speech, cognitive function, and overall quality of life. Types of stroke Strokes can be classified into two main categories, ischemic stroke, this is the most common type, accounting for about 87 of all strokes. It occurs when the blood vessel supplying blood to the brain is obstructed. This obstruction can be caused by, thrombotic stroke, a blood clot forms in an artery that supplies blood to the brain. This often occurs in arteries damaged by atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by the buildup of fatty deposits. Embolic stroke, a blood clot or debris forms away from the brain often in the heart and travels through the bloodstream to lodge in narrower brain arteries. Hemorrhagic stroke, this type occurs when a blood vessel in the brain bursts, causing bleeding in or around the brain. Hemorrhagic strokes can be caused by intracerebral hemorrhage, bleeding occurs within the brain itself, often due to hypertension or arteriovenous malformations. Subarachnoid hemorrhage, bleeding occurs in the area between the brain and the tissues covering it, often due to a ruptured aneurysm. Symptoms of stroke Recognizing the symptoms of a stroke is crucial for timely treatment. The acronym FAST is a helpful way to remember the signs, face drooping, one side of the face may droop or feel numb. Ask the person to smile to see if the smile is uneven. Arm weakness, one arm may feel weak or numb. Ask the person to raise both arms one may drift downward. Speech difficulties, speech may be slurred, or the person may have trouble speaking or understanding speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence to check. Time to call emergency services. If any of these signs are observed, it is critical to call emergency services immediately. Other possible symptoms include sudden confusion, trouble seeing in one or both eyes, and sudden severe headache with no known cause. Risk factors for stroke Understanding risk factors is essential for prevention. They can be categorized into non-modifiable and modifiable factors, non-modifiable risk factors, age, the risk of stroke increases with age, especially after 55. Gender, men have a higher risk of stroke than women but women tend to have strokes at older ages. Family history, a family history of stroke increases individual risk. Race, African Americans are at a higher risk of stroke compared to other races, often due to higher rates of hypertension and diabetes. Modifiable risk factors, hypertension high blood pressure, this is the leading cause of stroke. Managing blood pressure is crucial for stroke prevention. Diabetes, Poorly controlled diabetes increases the risk of stroke significantly. High cholesterol, elevated levels of low-density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol can contribute to atherosclerosis, leading to ischemic stroke. Smoking, tobacco use increases the risk of stroke due to its effects on blood vessels and overall cardiovascular health. Obesity, excess body weight is associated with increased blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol all of which raise stroke risk. Physical inactivity, sedentary lifestyles contribute to obesity, hypertension, and diabetes. Unhealthy diet, diets high in saturated fats, trans fats, cholesterol, and sodium can lead to high blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Excessive alcohol consumption, heavy drinking can increase blood pressure and contribute to stroke risk. Stroke prevention strategies according to medical research, Stroke prevention focuses on managing modifiable risk factors and adopting a healthy lifestyle. Here are effective strategies based on recent studies, control blood pressure, regular monitoring, individuals should regularly monitor their blood pressure, aiming for a target of less than 130 mm Hg. Medications, if lifestyle changes are insufficient, antihypertensive medications may be necessary. Classes of medications include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, and beta blockers. Manage diabetes, blood sugar control, maintaining blood glucose levels within the target range is essential. This can be achieved through diet, exercise, and medication. Regular screening, individuals at risk should have their blood sugar levels checked regularly to ensure early detection and management. Cholesterol management, dietary changes, incorporating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish, 
fiber like whole grains and fruits, and healthy fats like avocados and nuts can help lower cholesterol. Statin therapy For those with high cholesterol, statins may be prescribed to lower LDL cholesterol levels. Quit smoking, support programs, behavioral therapies, support groups, and smoking cessation medications like nicotine patches or bupropion can help individuals quit smoking. Education Understanding the risks associated with smoking can motivate individuals to quit. Maintain a healthy weight, balanced diet, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can help maintain a healthy weight. Regular physical activity, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week, such as brisk walking or cycling. Adopt a heart healthy diet, DASH or Mediterranean diet. Both diets emphasize fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, which are beneficial for heart and brain health. Reduce sodium intake, limiting sodium to less than 2, 300 mg per day can help control blood pressure. Limit alcohol consumption, moderation, if consumed, alcohol should be limited to moderate levels up to 1 drink per day for women and up to 2 drinks per day for men. Stay physically active regular exercise. In addition to aerobic activity, strength training and flexibility exercises should be included at least twice a week. Manage stress, stress reduction techniques, practices such as yoga, meditation, and deep breathing exercises can help reduce stress levels, which may impact blood pressure and heart health. Regular health checkups, routine screenings, Regular visits to a health care provider for screenings and risk assessments can help detect issues early and manage existing conditions. Conclusion Stroke is a significant global health issue with serious consequences, but many risk factors can be modified to reduce the likelihood of having a stroke. By understanding the types of strokes, recognizing symptoms, and implementing prevention strategies based on medical research, individuals can significantly lower their risk and promote overall brain health. Emphasizing a heart-healthy lifestyle, regular monitoring of health indicators, and proactive management of chronic conditions can lead to a healthier future and reduce the burden of stroke on individuals and society as a whole. Burden of stroke on individuals